Natasha Gage, welcome back. Thanks for being here. If you guys are watching this in real time, then you know that I took a couple days break or a couple day break. However, I took the weekend off and that felt just what I needed. It felt really good. Um, just kind of try to step away a little bit from my space and truly live December. So today I'm going to be working on stories 10 and 11 and I already have a few things done and I'll kind of walk you through all of it. So here's a look at my story nine. Uh, like I said in my story eight video, I wasn't doing a process video for this. Um, more details specifically about like this layout and a cut file will be included in my upcoming class with big picture that comes out next month in January. But you can see there's a little flip out, a couple of windows. This is a story about Henry for you know, all about the joy he brings. Um, I can read, I'll share some of my journaling from these couple of, next couple of layouts towards the very end of the video. So if you guys are interested, you can listen to that at the end. All right, story 10, what I'm gonna be working on today is all about gratitude. Documenting 10 things of gratitude. And I'll talk you through just a couple ideas for here. I already have my photo. This is of Ben and Henry. I just stood on our living room coffee table and just took a photo with my phone for this one. Came out fine, worked out perfectly, and I'm planning to add an embellishment here. I don't think I'll put a number on this day. And then for story 11, I have a couple of things done. One, I have a photo. This is of a Zoom call that a couple of us former creative team members got together and did yesterday on Sunday. Took a screenshot of that, added some journaling. And then I do have a shaker pocket. This is a scrap lift from Allie Edwards. Uh, she does have a process video uh, specifically on this one. And I will put a link to her video down in my comments in case you guys want to see this one specifically. So I have a shaker pocket. This is going to be my left side of story 11. And then I have a few things to pull together, bring together for the back side of my shaker pocket. So I'm going to go in and just get started here on story 10. If you guys remember from my album Starting Place, this is what I have in here. This is a, from the digital kids kit release this year. It's a four by six journal card that says making a list and checking it twice. I had printed this out here at home on my Epson XP 15,000 using the premium presentation paper, or premium presentation matte paper. It works great. It's You have colors that are nice and rich in their pigment, but um, I knew I wanted it to be gratitude specifically. Now, I will share a couple ideas. One, this I could have just, especially even when we look here, I could have stamped or just handwritten very large and kept that far more simplistic rather than going deeper, if you want to say it, for what I am thankful for. Another idea I thought, even if you wanted to use this, the making a list and checking it twice, and you have 10 things, again, you could either stamp, do it really large, or add your journaling, and maybe over here you do a photo collage of 10 things that are on your list, or your kids' list, or your family's list, or whatever you have going on for the holidays. I thought that would have been a fun one to do, and I did consider it, but ultimately I went with gratitude. I really like to document gratitude during this month well during the all the months of my year but especially during December daily so I'm gonna get started in here I'll put you guys on fast forward you might see some music I might talk you through some stuff and we'll do a little refresh once I finish up and I will share a little bit of my words with you guys all right, so getting started here with story 10. First thing I'm going to be doing is just trimming down my page here of journaling. Again, this was sized to 11 inches wide by eight and a quarter. And I printed this out here at home using my Epson XP 15,000. And that one was printed on the premium presentation matte paper. I also went ahead and trimmed down my photo for story 11 because that way I could adhere them and punch the holes all at once as opposed to having to punch them twice. So just trying to line up the edges here and uh, one thing I personally like to do when it's a photo is grab over a piece of just 
blank paper and then press it down just to help with the hand prints. <coughs> All right, so punching my holes in, again, using that six hole punch, grabbing over my ruler and the X-Acto knife to trim off the little bit of excess because, of course, things like that happen and don't always match up. Putting that back in the album, and then up next, I'm going to be figuring out embellishments. Now, I had already pulled over a couple of things from my stash. There was that heart this, and then I have a couple of different hexagons. They were the plastic hexagons in the frames from the hexagon scrapbook kit, which I believe that was last year. And looking back at it now, I really liked that num that red but I ultimately decided to go with something else. There was one that said gratitude, but it blended in too much with the color of the carpet. So the one I chose to use is Quiet and Cozy. That is from a transparent journal card, and I believe this was in the 2020 release, and it says Quiet and Cozy. So I'm just trimming a little bit off here, and then I'm going to adhere that right on, and then again, finishing off the edges and then we'll be adhering that right onto the page. I Rolling adhesive seemed to work great. I like that that hexagon wood frame just adds a little bit of something extra to it. Just a, helps carry it over a little bit of pattern, breaks it up. It's super fun for me. All right, so moving on to story 11. Again, this one is two parts. Uh, on the left side, I do have that full page photo printed here at home, Epson glossy paper. And right now what I'm trying to decide is the embellishments. I pulled over some stars that were part of this year's release of the plastic star set. There's a ton of them in there. And I pulled out two of the pattern reds. The red on that is a little bit more of a cherry tomato, but that's fine for me. It all works. And adding, peeling off the plastic and then adding a gold chipboard star in the center. On top of that, number 11, I added a little red star, spoiler alert, that was from this year's advent calendar. And then again, I'm just rolling adhesive and going to hear that directly on top. on for the next page I have a piece of pattern paper this was from this year's release in one of the paper packs and what how it came was black with gold foil so I just used the digital version to print that out now my plan here is to frame out a four by six photo and then add some vellum for a flip up the frame that I have right there. That is sized five by seven and the window cutout is just a little bit smaller than four by six. I think it's like 5.75 by like maybe 3.8. It's, it's really close for that. So what I'm doing next is just trying to find the center. I went ahead and already had trimmed down that piece of red felt. I found this at Hobby Lobby. Uh, one thing I like is it's a little bit thinner than sometimes the other felts that you might find, and it does have adhesive on the back. So for this one, I did seven and a half by, wait, no, sorry. Uh, I think it was like, I'd have to go and measure. I think it's maybe close to, eight by eight by six. It's really close to that. 
Uh, so now I measured that inside of that frame and went ahead and cut out some of that vellum. That is vellum I ordered from a shop on Etsy that prints white ink on vellum and uh, used a couple of the digital patterns from this year's releases. Adding on some score tape, you'll see first I tried some red line tape and realized it was a little bit too short. I needed the adhesive to go all the way to the top. So grabbed over some score tape and I'm just adhering that. That is trimmed just a little bit taller. So I think it's maybe like four and a quarter by by maybe six. It's real it's really close to that, but part of it I wanted it to be able to flip up. Next in the process, I am again grabbing over some score tape, putting that on the back side of my photo. Uh, one thing I will say is that it was nice using the score tape when it peels off super easily, but you'll see in just a minute here, it took me several tries to try to get this all to line up and position it right because I wanted uh, just the thin border of red, uh, which again, you'll see. So trying to line this up, it took me a little bit too much time and me just being a little nitpicky and fussing with it. So pulling it back off, putting it back down, trying to <laughs> trying to make it and spending too much time. So just stick it down on the page and it would have been fine. What I'll be doing here next though, I like it with just the vellum, but I wanted to add a little bit of something extra on top. So I decided to pull out one of those plastic words that were included in this year's main kit and the one that says Mary. And I grabbed over my Barely Arts glue. I'm really liking how this works, especially on the plastic embellishments or more of the vellum or see-through. I'm just adding a little bit of adhesive on the backside and then grabbed over like a paint spreader to just smooth that out a little bit uh, to make sure it gets all the plate, all the crevices and all over that. So adhering that down, grabbing a uh, microfiber cloth just to wipe off the excess. And then now I'm peeling off that, uh, the backing for that score tape and going to finish adhering this down. I really like how this one turned out. I think it's a little bit of fun. You know, that black and white background helps carry over from the other side. Um, last year, I'm just going to be adding one of those tab stickers that was part of this year's add-on. And that is a wrap for my stories 10 and 11. All right. So just to recap here, and I'll share just a few things with you guys as well, but uh you saw day 10, this is using part of the digital kids kit, adding my own custom title for giving thanks. There's always something used in older three by four transparency. I think that's from the 2020 collection I had in my stash. And this frame was from the hexagon scrapbook kit. Didn't want to add a number. There's 10. That works for me. It works for story 10. Story 11 is two parts. I oh, printed out a photo of our Zoom call and added some journaling down below, the white chipboard number for 11, and a couple of the plastic stars in red with additional like gold chipboard, and then you have a red here. So it creates a nice little triangle. The shaker page, and this is filled with a bunch of sequins from my stash. This has is the washi tape. Both of these are the washi tapes that were included in this year's main kit. Again, using a digital, this is from the pattern paper. It was the black with gold writing that had, you know, December memories, joy, believe, moments, love, things like that on there. Uh, cutting down a piece of red felt that does have adhesive on the backing. Uh, then also cutting out using my silhouette to create a frame and a photo underneath with some journaling. Then adding on top this plastic Mary that again was from the main kit and then a tab sticker that was an add-on. So just a couple of things I won't bore you guys with all of my journaling here. Um, you know, part of, I'll even flip back to story nine, this was about joy. And what I chose to do here was to write a letter to Henry, um, you know, talking about like welcome, how we, when we welcomed him home and it was a learning curve. And he reminded me of so many things I had forgotten and all the stuff he finds joy in and, you know, just a little sweet letter to him and a thank you. 
Uh, I don't know if I had mentioned beforehand this uh, pleather piece. I believe that was from 2020 as well. The littlest things in life are where you find your joy. I loved being able to use some of the items from my stash here. Okay, so I already did 10. Uh, some of the stuff, uh, again, for my words here, talking about... Um, being thankful for waking up early and coming downstairs to the glow of colored lights on the real tree. A quiet morning. Um, a long conversation with my sister. A morning walk. Um, I had the house to myself for you know the first part of the day as Ben was uh, met up with friends to watch uh, France play in the World Cup, which they won. So that was pretty, or they won that game against England. That was pretty exciting. So um, just more things I'm thankful for for the day. Um, then again, recapping some of the conversation with these ladies and being talking about being thankful. Um, you know, we started doing that this year to be stay kind of like connected. Um, yeah, love being able to do that. And then over here, you know, just simple journaling for talking about the um, Christmas party. It was pajama party. Uh, there was a white elephant and that was Ben's first time playing it so I love how these pages turned out you saw me struggle with this one a little bit of trying to line up the vellum and with the frame and then trying to get stuff centered I mean even as I look at this now I mean I won't take it up but it could have been positioned just a little just a little bit more to the right I'm leaving it um you know just trying to find that good enough what can I let go of here um but yeah, I'm having fun with this. So story 12 tomorrow, uh, I think, or my plan is as of right now, we'll see what the day unfolds. Uh, but I'm thinking of using this circle die cut page. That was an add-on. And I believe the physical may no longer be available, but there is the digital for that. So that is what I'm thinking tomorrow for story 12. We'll see how that all comes together. And then I will probably be back here tomorrow. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And have a great December day, everyone.